Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a long time, like so long. Like, I don't actually remember the last time I filmed. Um, I don't even know why. I honestly have no idea why I've not got more videos on here. Um, so I apologise if you expected more from me on here. I'm very sorry. It's just because, I don't know, my main focus isn't really on YouTube. I kind of just do it when I feel like it, which I shouldn't really do. Um, but I'm sorry, again. Anyway, let's not get into that. Um, so, the video I'm filming today is basically, like, about mental health and, you know, you know, basically just questions from you and things, generally. Um... So that's what I'm going to be doing. I think as well it's important because today is actually Mental Health Awareness Day. That's kind of like why I wanted to do it now. Um, you know, because I think it's the right time to do it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, please subscribe if you want to. I mean, I'm not going to push you because I'm not like that. And also, there might not be like videos <laughs> every week or whatever. Maybe like every year. <laughs> I'm joking, kind of. Um, but anyway, yes, let's just get on with it. Okay, so I'm gonna answer the questions first and then I'm gonna talk about things about it at the end. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just have a little look because um, there's a lot, so I'm just trying to think which I want to do. Also, sorry about my nails. I was like, I put a picture on today, um, an Instagram post, and I was like, and I saw my nails and I was like, I zoomed in and they were chipped because like they're chipped aren't they? And I was like, oh god, I should have painted them. But it doesn't really matter. I thought I'd get more comments about them but I've not got one. Touch wood. I mean, I don't really care but anyway. <laughs> anyway, back to it. Back to it. I get distracted so easily. Um, so. Um, also, thank you guys for like being so sweet and um, it really means a lot um, okay so the first one I'm gonna answer I was like I don't know I was kind of debating whether I should answer this because I don't know because it might be a bit personal but I'm just gonna answer it so I've got so many questions asking how am I really because I feel like this is so common like it happens so many times like when something bad's happened or generally someone asks you how you are you just kind of like say oh, i'm fine or i'm okay because i just feel like people say that because you know they don't want to be honest and i think i am guilty like i always do it all the time i'm like oh yeah i'm really good i'm really fine blah 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 when i'm actually feeling really shit um and I just feel like it's just what everybody does and because it's difficult to talk about things and like you go into um, something like that. So I'm going to answer this one and I'm going to be brutally honest. Um, and no, I'm not really. Like I am fine, like don't like worry about me or anything. Um, but recently I've been feeling a little upset about things not anything specific because I feel like that's a main reason that's like the main thing like for me nothing really nothing's really specifically why I feel sad it's just I do sometimes like, I feel like everyone goes for it do you know what I mean like I think sometimes I wake up and I feel so happy and then other days I wake up and feel just not at all and it is totally normal to feel like that because you know who wonders do you know what i mean um so yeah i am in the middle i guess i'm in the middle um i think as well like school's hard sometimes and like <clears throat> sometimes like you do fall out with your family do you know what i mean it's normal it's a normal thing to do and yeah nothing really triggers it um but i like that question because it was nice to kind of it's nice to be honest you know, it's nice to actually answer truthfully, but don't like 
think there's anything wrong with you if you feel sad all the time or if you feel sad once do you know what I mean it, it, it's so normal like you know I get told it's normal all the time and it is because it's just part of life really isn't it um and it's hard to be honest and it's hard to like be you know be honest about it it is so yeah okay so um next question is I'm talking so much and I'm sorry it's gonna be quite a long video I might have to cut it down because I am um, I can't stop talking but anyway it doesn't matter right so um I just I honestly feel like I don't think you actually understand how it makes me feel like all these comments and things like you just make me feel so great and thank you for that so there's this i think it's not like a question it's just kind of a thing um you know the feeling when you're drowning and nobody can convince you to breathe yes i absolutely do i think it's so like it is that is literally i'm so glad you've put that i'm not naming people just because they might not want me to name them and you know i don't know what you want me to do so um yeah i'm not i'm not going to name anyone but you'll probably know who you are um and yeah I'm so glad because I think I feel like that all the time and I, I find it difficult to kind of describe like the way I feel and you've described that really well like I feel like that all the time you know even like the smallest things every day I feel like at some point I feel like that because things trigger it and I think as well the tap you know, the, our la everyone's life now is so different with COVID and things because it's, you know, people don't think, but actually it's affected mental health a lot more now because it's like lockdown, but you couldn't see your friends, you couldn't see anyone, it was so lonely and yeah, I do, I do. So the next question is how has social media influenced your mental health so this is a really good question as well now honestly i have touch wood like is, it, is there any word touch wood i've not had any kind of like bad hate from anyone on here to me um specifically speaking um, you know, because you guys are just genuinely really nice and kind. Um, but I have seen things on Instagram, not about me, about other people, you know, about people I know and, and about, not even, about even strangers, do you know what I mean? And I think sometimes social media can be so horrible towards different people because just a small little comment or... A, you know a, a post about something negative or you know can really affect someone's mental health I've seen and like it's just I think you've just got to be careful like you know what you read and things because it can be really horrible um I mean thank you know I've not had any hate on my Instagram but I've seen it and I think sometimes seeing it makes you feel bad as well because it's it's horrible like I just don't understand how like I just don't get it you know I don't understand how people can be so mean like what is the actual point like, I honestly have I don't get the point of it I honestly don't I don't so this next one is quite an important one to me because again I felt like this way you know I do feel like this way sometimes Um, feel like I don't belong anywhere when it comes to friendships family and you know I'm you know I really get it I honestly do because especially for friendships like 
thank you know I've got a you know my family we're not perfect I'm not gonna say we're not we're perfect cause we're not but I love them do you know what I mean like I think they're really important to me so for this one it comes more like in friendships I think like I'm not gonna you know go into too much detail about it just because <laughs> if anyone's watching this they don't want to get offended or anything but um I don't know yet I think again primary school was the biggest one for me because there can be a lot of bullies um and people who pick on you but yeah it is because I think again like I just feel like people have something so against when somebody doesn't look like them or doesn't believe in things like people believe do you know what I mean like when people are not the same as other people and to me being different is the best thing I love being different because I'm not just the same as that person you know no one's really the same as everyone else and people act like they are but they're not like you've always got something that is different to that person and um i think the biggest advice for me to give you is that don't run away from it if that makes sense don't just don't just wear what they wear or or say or believe in the things that they believe in just so you fit in like if you feel like that about your friends then they're not your real friends and because your friends are supposed to be or well, you know they're feeling don't really care about what you wear or what you think about and things and um and what you look like so yeah they're not your real friends if they're like that and i'm sure you've got loads of friends out there but you've just not met them yet but just don't you are loved and like don't feel like you're not and you are so you're not alone at all and you do belong somewhere so i'm gonna do a few more and then i'm gonna kind of just discuss things about like what I kind of like think about and things like that um so I have this question called best things to do when you're feeling anxious <sighs> um I don't really know to be fair because again I can't really tell you what's right for you because I could say something that doesn't work um, but I think kind of just like for me anyway I kind of just breathe and just kind of sometimes I literally just close my eyes I could be walking I could be you know literally like walk across the road don't I don't advise you to do that at all but sometimes I'm just like I literally shut my eyes I don't care where I am even if I'm in class and I just kind of think for a minute and just like, I don't know, just breathe. I do loads of things, do you know what I mean? There's nothing specific, a specific re, um, answer. Um, I think it's well like having a hug of your mum for me because, you know, I love my mum to pieces. Um, but just kind of like, I'm sure you'll find something that will... I need to make you feel better but um yeah try try just shutting your eyes and that doesn't work well <laughs> I wish I could tell you what to do next but I can't because I don't know but um yeah okay so I really hope kind of like those I've kind of answered them for you um it wasn't really necessarily giving you a straight up answer it was kind of just talking about it and 
you know, what I do and things. Because I personally believe that you'll never find a good enough answer. Because for me, I mean, maybe it's different for you, but for me, like, I ask people all the time, oh, what shall I do? Because I just cannot do it anymore. I just, I hurt too much. And they always give me the wrong answer because the feeling never goes away. Because for me, I just feel, sometimes I feel like my whole body is in pain. And it, I just hurt so much. And every time I speak to my mum or my dad or you know, my brother or my sister or my friends, anyone, they never give me the right answer because I just still feel like I'm hurting. So it, this video is not about making, well it is, I don't think that's the wrong thing to say because I don't want you to feel horrible, you know, um, but it's more about kind of just having someone to watch and I think it is the biggest struggle what people go through is in your mind because it never, it, sometimes I think that it's never going to heal because it's always in there, it's always in there and it's like I've been to therapy, do you know what I mean, I've been to therapy, I've spoken about it but sometimes it just doesn't work because I think people say that's you know, letting it all out is the thing that makes it all go away and it helps but it doesn't make it disappear because until you until you wake up one day and feel like you can breathe it's not gone and I think some days I have a good day but then I come home and it's like I'm like wait why don't I feel I've just had a great day why why do I feel like this and it's because for me in my opinion it's it's because I think it's so strong, do you know what I mean, like anxiety is so strong, Depe depression is so strong um, and it's like, it is, it is so powerful and it is so difficult to win from it and it's like, for me it's like the biggest pain I have ever felt in my life so far like even like you know breaking your foot break you know breaking a bone it's like literally that's not as pain do you know what I mean it, it just hurts so much and it sometimes I just feel like it's never going to go away but it's nice to know that other people kind of like know what it feels like because sometimes I just feel like it's just me who feels this way but it's not and I've kind of realised that now and instead of kind of just sitting in my room crying or just thinking about it I kind of just want to um, want to speak to you and uh, you know actually speak you know open up and speak about things and um, maybe you've skipped this video and thought, oh, this is so boring, or just not even watched it. I don't care because for me, I feel great now. Like, I feel like I've just let so much stuff out and I feel really, really quite relieved. Um, so, to be honest, it's, I'm thanking, I'm thanking you because you kind of let me do this and you've given me a reason to do it so thank you so much so again thank you for watching this if you did um, and kind of thank you again for giving me a reason to do this video and just remember
that probably everyone is feeling a little bit like this. There's so many different levels of it, but, but I feel like people, well, everyone, goes through this at some point in their lives. So, yeah, I love you all and stay strong. <laughs>